Today we're going to talk about how to catch a hard to catch horse. This horse that I have here is Scout. I've done several videos of him. I've talked about how to build a relationship with a horse. And in that process, I'm working on building a relationship with him that, that the goal is for him to be easier to catch. If you haven't seen the first videos, I'll put a link to them so you can watch those, how we got to this step. If you have a horse that's hard to catch, what you're gonna see me do here is not the first step. There's some preparatory things that you need to do to get to this step. In the process of those preparatory things, I've done some work with him where I have caught him in the stall. I've done some lunge work with him. And I have taught him that, what, that I am a good thing. I have showed him leadership with asking him to move. And I've also rewarded him and showed him that our relationship is a mutually beneficial relationship. From there, we build on being easier to catch. Now you notice I'm not just going right hard up to him. And all in the process, he has been wanting me on the left side. I'm gonna go ahead and catch him on the left side. I'm not gonna force it on the right today. But while he's on the, the lead line, I will continually work on making that right side better. As you see, he's standing here looking at me. We're in the arena. He was out last night. I'm not going to force the issue with him. I'm going to offer that catching is a good idea. I have already built the relationship with him that he doesn't want to run from me. He knows I'm okay. He knows that he's going to get something out of this relationship. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the lead rope over his neck first. And if you saw the first video I did of him, it took me probably 10 minutes to catch him in a stall. Out here, I was able to just walk right up to him. Put the lead rope up, lead rope up to him first, and he puts his nose in the halter. He has learned to respect me, but to respect me in a manner that not only am I not going to hurt him, but in a manner that I am his leader and he wants to be with me. This is really nice. So now I have two options right here. I could turn him loose and walk away because he's been caught. This is the goal that I wanted to accomplish. I could turn him loose or walk away. But what I want to do at this stage, I want to reinforce to him that he made a good decision and that he's going to get something out of this relationship. It's not all about getting caught and getting rode and getting worked and that kind of thing. I don't ever use treats to catch a hard to catch horse. I want him to come to me to be caught because of our relationship, because of me, not because of a treat that I have in my hand. If he learns to be caught because I'm feeding him treats, he's not being caught for the right reasons. So now that I have him caught, I'm going to take him in the barn. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with him next. So I started this whole video off with catching a hard to catch horse. And you saw I basically just walk right up to him. And you say, well, that's not a hard to catch horse. Well, th this is a hard to catch horse. I was able to catch him because of my, my homework, the prerequisites that I did ahead of time. So I caught him and I let him into the barn. Let, okay, he's a little pushy. I'll work on that some more. He needs some more work, but it's not, it's not bad. He's not being belligerent. This is going to go away when we have more understanding of my leadership right now he's just he's 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 starting to accept my leadership but it's not a hundred percent yet see his nose in his nose a little bit now that i have him caught i want to reinforce to him that letting me catch him was a good decision so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put him in his stall and let him eat his breakfast Now he's getting a reward for allowing me to be his leader. He's eating his breakfast. And you might think, well, how is that different than feeding him treats? Well, the difference is he let me catch him first, and then he got the reward. He was rewarded 
for making a good decision. I'm not going to coax him into making a good decision with the treats. I'm going to encourage a good decision and then reward that good decision. So this is Scout. I'll put a link up top or down in the comments of some of the other videos that I've done with him. He's come a long ways. This is a really nice horse if you want to see what I've done with him so far to get him to this point. Until next time, thank you for watching.